Don't be afraid to say no. Are you someone like me who loves to help no matter what it is? You just have the heart to, you know, ask someone, are you okay? Do you need my help? Yeah, I'm okay. Well, you could do this All for right. me. I could do that. Wait, you have to begin to think about what are the effects of being so openly kind to other people? Personally, for me, I'm the person that, you know, if you come to me, you get a response, get it done. And for me, I know that that's not a bad thing. It's actually a very good characteristic to have. But then on the other hand, there's also the thought of the physical and mental strain that it may cause. It's important to know that there should be a balance. If you're a person that willingly loves to give back to people and help out at no matter what, you need to understand the consequence that it may have. Number one, I said that it causes physical demands on your body. You may be a type of person that five people call you at one point and you're like, oh, they want different things and you just try to, you just try to juggle it to get it done. But at what point are you taking care of yourself? At what point are you saying, you know what, I have to take care of my needs. I have to take care of what I have to do on my list. And then I said, mentally. Mentally, you know, everyone has their own desires in life, whether it be they want to do a certain career path or do a certain activity in daily life to prosper, to move on in life. And when you're dealing with other people, as far as when they're asking you for favors, you have to hold back and deal with that. Don't get me wrong, it's good to help people, but you have to learn how to say no. Rather, when to say no. Like for instance, I have a couple of friends that call me or text me at random times of the year, and when I see that person's name or number, I'm like, okay, what do they want? And to me, I hate saying that. I hate being the person that's like, oh, what do they want from me? Like, I shouldn't have that mentality, but it has come to that. And it's sad. It took me quite a long time to figure out, okay, you know what? You have to stop. You have to learn how to say no, no matter how the person may feel about it. Or, like for example, you may have a friend that calls you up randomly asking for a favor, and me being the nice person, I go ahead and I get the favor done. And then maybe a few weeks afterwards, I need a favor or you may need a favor. But that person, you don't hear from them. They don't pick up their phone. They don't answer text messages. And you're like, what did I do wrong? I just want a favor. So definitely learn who are your friends. I mean, it's nice to do a favor, but when it's not reciprocated or if, if it's not returned, then it's definitely a problem. Choose wisely what you allow yourself to do for others. I'm not saying don't help anyone. Yes, help people. That is the way everyone should be, helpful and loving. But when you feel like you're being taken advantage of, that's when you have to say no. That's when you have to stop and say, you know what, uh-uh. Saying no means standing up for yourself. Saying no means you're standing up for your well-being. So there definitely is a time and place when you should say no. Stand up today. Don't let people take advantage of you. It really does hurt. Trust me, I know. So don't be afraid to say no. Have any of you experienced this and had to stand up and finally say no? If so, leave a comment down below. And stay tuned for next week's motivational talk. Until then, I'll see you later. Bye. Come on. Come on.